Hi, so welcome to another Arduino video. Now, what I've been saying is that getting started with Arduino is really a piece of cake. And it's true, it is. But the uh, programming of the Arduino can get really complicated when you start to delve in it. But it's like going to the swimming pool. If you've never been swimming before, you'd be an idiot to jump off the diving board into the deep end. You don't do that. You get in the bit where you can paddle around for a bit and get used to the water. And that's what it's about, really. It's about jumping in that little bit, paddling around, getting used to it. And to do that, piece of cake. And we did one with a switch where we used the thing that you could find on the Arduino board. And it's pretty standard, really. And it looks like this. OK, that was the circuit diagram where you, showing you where to stick things in the pins. And here's the actual board that I've Here's the Arduino, up. there's the resistor going to ground, here's my switch, I press that switch and the LED lights up. Big whoop! But it's kind of really important to be able to do that control from a switch. Now there's a reason that that, that resistor is there, incidentally. It's to do with the noise on the signal lines, but it's there for a good reason. And this is the standard thing you'll see for attaching a switch to your Arduino. It's what you see on the Arduino hub, the sketch is on the hub and it's really easy and freely available. And that's pretty much a standard setup. However, to dive in a little bit more, this board has its own resistors on it, and we can use those resistors so that we don't need these separate parts. Those resistors on the board are used by a code called input pull-up. Now let's have a look at the quick look at the sketch I used, and here it is. Look down that sketch to pin mode button pin input. That's the control. Now we're going to change that to this. If you have a look, you'll see that pin mode button pin input has changed to pin mode button pin, button pin <laughs> input underscore pull up. That input underscore pull up is the command to use the resistor on the board, and it means we can get rid of this external resistor. So the circuit looks like this. deal there's the board there's the switch press the switch and that LED goes off which is kind of cool we've got rid of the resistor so now we have no external components apart from the switch because we're using the resistor on the board with input pull-up there's something else to notice incidentally in the previous version the light did this version the light does that so it starts on the switch turns it off and the other one it started off and the switch turned it on so the logic is reversed you need to remember that when you're actually doing this but using um, input pull up allows you to get rid of some external components and obviously that's really really useful in some cases anyway i thought i'd draw your attention to input pull up an extremely useful bit of code and i hope you enjoyed the video and thank you very much for watching